Now, right now, we have a baking legend here with us today. And unfortunately, yes. he was the first person to go home from the Mad Singer. Please oh, welcome man. pastry chef, the artist formerly known as Mick Terry, the one, the only, <laughs> Duff Goldman. Yeah. 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 Nice. Now, Duff, you literally sang your head off and made Mad Singer history by this happening. Oh, oh now he's gonna fall. Oh! Oh! His mask just fell off. Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Now, <laughs> what was going on through your mind, bro, when your head fell off? Okay, so like I, I did my, my little howl, you know, and I got up and I'm like, I did it! I did make a fool out of myself. And then I stepped off the stage. I like my foot just felt air. No. And I was like, oh man, man this is gonna hurt. No. Yeah, I was I so I was like my my hand my hands were going up because I was just like, uh oh. And uh the head was like gone. Like there was no way I was oh gonna catch it. So I was able to get back, my hands are already here, so I just went like this. <laughs> then uh yeah, man. <laughs> And then, and then once I once I didn't die, my next thought was, are they gonna sue me? Because <laughs> I, I like ruined. I, I thought I ruined the show, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Chef, what was your initial reaction when you were approached to do the show? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, it's funny. Like, I don't have that thing that that um, like makes people have stage fright. Mm. Like my whole life, I've never. I've always just made. You know, I, I I'm. I like being a clown, yeah. you know, it's called that. And so my agent was like, hey, you want to do Mad Singer? I was like, absolutely. <laughs> that show looks amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and Chef, you made it even more amazing because in the history, that has never happened. Right. But you even had the judges fooled. I, really, what made you go with the accent? <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could do it. You know? like, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I was like, hey, you know what would be funny? If I do a Scottish accent, maybe they'll actually think I'm Scottish. But nobody was That's fooled. hilarious. Nobody That's was fooled. Um, Duff, so tell us about your costume. Now, is the terrier your favorite breed? Well, have you guys ever seen that movie, Best in Show? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Favorite movie. Well, the winner of Best in Show was a terrier. Uh -huh. His name was Winky. Mm. And I was like, you know what? Winky was like... He was the underdog. <laughs> but, um, you know, and then, like, Winky wins. And I was like, you know what? I'm the underdog here. I want to be a champion like Winky. I want to be a terrier. That was my that, that was my thinking. Well played. Well, you know, Duff, you have a do-it-yourself cake decorating company in L.A. Do you think you'll add the McTerrier as some sort of decor option for people who are fans of not only your, mm. your cooking work, but also you on The Masked Singer? That is a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. You guys. <laughs> you better do it. You better do it. No, oh my gosh. Yo, Duff, thank you so much for hanging out with us. You were amazing on the show. The whole head uh, coming off was probably the highlight of all time for me it was. with The Mass Singer. But make sure to catch the next episode of The Mass Singer this Wednesday on Fox. You never know who will be under the mask. Hey, don't forget to hit us up on social media. We're on all these platforms at Dish Nation. We'll see you there.